Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. First of all, I like to apologize to all my viewers, for not uploading any videos for a long time, but now I will try to be regular, thanks. Today, we are going to create, wedding ink slideshow, like this. So let's get started, first create a new comp, 1920 by 1080. This is our main comp. Here I have some elements, so drag paper BG image into the timer line, and apply motion tile effect. Change output width and height 400 by 400, and check mirror edges. Here you can see, now go to project window and create a new composition. And I call this PG Media 1 comp. Now again create a new composition. This is our placeholder 1 comp. Drag your image into the timer line. And resize according to the comp. Now go to BG Media 1 Comp, and drag Placeholder 1 Comp into the Timer Line. Then drag Ink Footage into the Timer Line. Select Placeholder Layer and change Track Matte, Lumo Inverted Matte. Cool. Move both layers around one and half second forward. Now go to main comp and drag BG Media 1 comp into the timer line. Then search black and white effect. Here you can see. Now search levels effect. And increase black input. Now drag handwritten letter into the timer line. Resize around 40%. And adjust into the comp. Also decrease opacity around 40%. Now duplicate the layer, and move bottom side of the comp. Now create a new composition. I call this media one. Then drag paper BG comp into the timer line. And resize according to the comp. Then drag placeholder one comp into the timer line. Now create a new solid layer. Then select rounded rectangle tool. And create a rectangle like this. Then select placeholder layer and change track mat alpha mat. Here you can see the effect. Now select placeholder layer, go to first frame and change scale 115%, and add a keyframe, then go to around 8 second forward, and change scale amount 100%. Perfect. Now go to main comp and drag me do one comp into the timer line. Convert all layers into 3D layers. Go to two views, move media one little bit forward from all layers. And change scale amount 
Now search drop shadow effect. Opacity 20%. Direction 65 degrees. Distance 20. And softness 180. Perfect. Now drag brush footage into the timer line. Right click, go to time, and enable time remapping. And increase layer length. Now select media layer, and change track mat, luma mat. Here you can see, Now create one more composition, I call this text 1. Select text tool and type your text. Now open text layer. Go to animate, and select position. Opacity. And blur. Also enable pre-character 3D. Then change Z position minus 1000. Opacity 0% And blur 50 Now open range selector 1 Then advanced And change shape Ramp up Now go to first frame And add a keyframe on offset And change offset minus 100% Then go to around 3 second forward And change offset plus 100% Cool. Now go to main comp, and drag text 1 comp into the timer line, and convert as a 3D layer, and move the position front side of the media comp. And resize layer around 50%. Perfect. Now drag dust footage into the timer line. And change layer mode screen. Then drag light leak footage and change layer mode screen. Now we need to animate the composition. So create a new camera. I am using 50mm preset camera. Then create null layer. And convert as a 3D layer. And parent your camera with null layer. Now go to around 4 second forward. And add a keyframe on position. And Z rotation. Then go to first frame, and move Z position, close to the camera. And Z rotation minus 90 degree. Select both last keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. I think we need to change the Z rotation minus 90 to minus 50 degree. Perfect. Now go to one and half second forward, add a keyframe on position and rotation, then again go to three second forward. And move X position left side of the comp.
move light leak and dust footage and text lay a few frame forward. Now select BG Media 1, and Paper BG Layer. Go to 1 second forward and add a keyframe on opacity. Then go to first frame and change the opacity 0%. Cool. Select all layers and pre-compose them. This is our scene 1. Now create an adjustment layer. And search curves effect. And adjust your curves. Now search sharpen effect and increase sharpen amount 20 then search noise effect uncheck use color noise and noise amount 10% here you can see perfect our animation has done hit 0 for render thanks for watching i hope you like the video so please, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.